Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Everyone Shanti. together. Om Shanti. My sweet brothers and sisters say Om Shanti. Oh, still not everybody has said it. So, good morning. Everyone say together. Everyone. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Special. The Baba ko bhog lagati hai. Especially when we offer bhog to Baba. Baba ko bhog lagana mana. To offer bhog to Baba means. Baba khata nahi hai. It isn't that Baba actually eats, but he accepts the bhog. We had asked Sakar Baba. Of course, when Baba was there physically, we would feed him. And with Avyakt Bab Dada, You've seen how Baba accepts Bhog. He accepts very sweetly with, a lo with love. We can feel that from him. We have that feeling from him. Well, she should know she sits right next to him. <laughs> it wasn't even in our dreams. that the Supreme Father, the highest on high, God, that He would come and meet us face to, se face, to face. We were searching for Him a lot. The one who we had been looking for has come in front of us now. And we see him in front of us. And Baba said today about right hands. Many times we have heard Baba speak about those who are the right hands. Baba said suddenly, I don't have a right hand. And that really touched my heart. It really touched me so deeply that I want to be the right hand of Baba, the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul Himself. I want to be His right hand. He would make me His right hand. That much fortune right hand to be his right hand means we finish the old things, we leave them behind, we finish them all the old matters. And in everything there has to be cleanliness and honesty. No absolute cleanliness and honesty in absolutely everything. Because without cleanliness, honesty cannot work. Cleanliness, 
As Baba said in the blessing, what do we have to do if we want to be clean, become merged in His love, and you will become cleansed. Become merged in His love and you will become cleansed. Coming to England, I've seen that mostly when people say, I love, they put a symbol of a heart. They won't write the word love, but it, they will replace that with a heart, the symbol of a heart. I, heart, and then you. <laughs> I know that he gets many cards it's like this. Wonderful. This is so wonderful. And this experience. And if I say I love you, and what would the what would Baba say? Uh, he's so sweet. If we are sweet with him, he is even more sweet with us. It's a two-way thing. If you embrace someone, if you embrace Baba, you use both arms and Baba embraces you. So, that is acting that out. But it's not just a matter of giving a hug to Baba, but also to kiss Baba. And jokingly, Baba said, don't ever miss a kiss. Kiss miss. Who would have such love as Baba does? Really, Baba has so much love for us in the form of the mother. One time, Baba um, at night between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. He um, had us take his lap number-wise. It was a wonderful scene. So we were all present and it was that night between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. Imagine what that night must have been like. Each child went into Baba's lap, Baba giving them drishti. Baba would not hug them in this way, you know, by putting his arms around you, not in that way. In Sindhi, there was this song, Mandali Mother, Mandali Mother, um, that we are coming into your lap and you are giving us the nectar of knowledge to drink. So sitting in Baba's lap, we receive Baba's drishti, and it is like the nectar, drinking nectar. One story that I've shared with you, it's an old story. One time, there was someone who was close, who was staying with us, who was close. In school, she was a very good student. She was the one who gave knowledge to Mama. And I had a lot of love for her. I liked her a lot. Out of this, all the sisters in the school, I liked her the best. And I loved her the most. She was a little bit younger. No. She looked a little older than me. And her face, wow, her face transformed when you, when you saw Baba's face and saw her face. Um, her face changed when she belonged to Baba. And I said, and I'm saying was, was. It was that she had made a decision in her life that she was not wanting to get married, didn't want to get married. 
जो बाबा करता वही करना है एंड दैट शी वुड डू बाबा कुछ शी वॉन्टेड टू डू ओनली वॉच बाबा was doing and baba she had so much love for baba and she hadn't made any other decision ummali piche and so om mandali as the yagya was called in the beginning um in those days baba used to have a satsang a little gathering with just a few and in those days baba gave the knowledge that hell is down below and heaven is up above तो भी थोड़ा ज्ञान मुखर से सुनाता था एंड बाबा यूज टू शेयर नॉलेज जस्ट अ लिटिल इन दोज डेज बट बाबा वॉज वेरी स्वीट वेरी वेरी स्वीट देर वॉज सच स्वीटनेस अबाउट हिम एंड बाबा वुड बी सिटिंग स्पीकिंग फॉर आवर्स एट अ टाइम एंड दिस पर्टिक्यूलर कुमारी गेव मी अ लिटिल नोट जानकी एक and baba says keep a balance as you heard today right hand banna ho to har baat right row hai so if you want to be a right hand everything you do has to be right never ever to make any mistake to do anything wrong mama ko gyan dene wali ho she was the one who gave gyan to mama and then mama went ahead very quickly seeing mama and baba move ahead Suddenly, this sister was not able to tolerate the fact that Mama had moved forward so quickly. And as a friend, I said to her, "What's happened to you?" And she would say, "Don't ask me." She was upset. She was very upset, and so upset that she didn't like to eat. Her mother was in Bombay. बाबा को बोला मैं माँ के पास जाएंगे शी सेट टू बाबा आई विल गो टू माई मदर एंड बाबा सेट वॉट्स द मैटर विद यू एंड शी सेट आई कांट टॉलरेट सी मम्मा क्यों सुनाती हूँ move forward in this way and why i'm telling you this the story no matter how good a soul may be never to have jealousy it's very dangerous very dangerous knowledge is nectar and she was the one who said drink nectar and give nectar to others to drink many souls had run away from baba and when this sister left baba she um, everybody was um, very um, felt it everyone felt it a lot um, other sisters ran away and got married but this particular sister was not able to tolerate seeing mama stage mama move forward and reading baba's murli today this example came to my mind that we have to become right hands always clean and honest and each one has their own fortune mujhe jo bhagwan bana raha hai what baba is making me into and that is banana my fortune banana banana the one hai. who is making us creating us Mujhe is doing his job i simply hai. have to be quality like wo. that i have to be quality. that quality, quality. that quality and baba talks about quality not quantity the first number quality so the first number souls are quality souls yat ke yatra mein in the pilgrimage of remembrance jeevan safali ki hui ho to have used your life in a worthwhile way being successful in your life used your life in a worthwhile way we are on a pilgrimage 
If we were to climb up, we would have a taste of what it is to experience God's love. But if we were to fall, we're not able to know what's happened. We become very dizzy and we start to fall. And they say, I feel dizzy. What can I do? What can I do? Is it that you should feel dizzy or is it that you should be spinning the cycle? If you were to climb up, that is, if your stage was to ascend, you would experience the sweetness of God's love. And I don't remember that it's after a long time that I went to Haridwar, and that too it must be about two or four years ago, and that he was taken to see Lakshman Jula. It's a bridge. In the early days, it used to be a wooden bridge, and it really was like a swing. Um, and Daddy had seen it on the path of Bhakti. You go across the river, that is the Ganges, and it's a long bridge. Now it's different. It's, um, it still uh, moves as you walk on it. And we used to sing this song that we will swing on the swing of um, knowledge and forget everything, all awareness completely of the body, wonderful the world, the everything. Right so it's wonderful, wonderful to be Baba's right hand. And right, uh, Baba so your hand is the right hand and your heart is here. So first of all, have the comforter of hearts sit in your heart, then you will become the right hand. If there's something else in your heart, then what will your hands do? Sarah, are you able to follow what Daddy is saying? Sarah had um, tested Daddy. Neville also, in Leicester, tested Daddy. I think they must be interview situations that Daddy is talking about. And wherever um, the program may be, they call Neville a lot, and I don't know how they called Sarah also, in order to test Daddy. <laughs> So Daddy had gone to Leicester yesterday. So I know that I want to be Baba's right hand. And okay, the subject may be the same, but wherever Daddy goes, she wants to share something different, not the same things. And today, Sunday class, the gathering, where Dante Ben, you see the class anywhere in the world, have you seen such a class? And, uh, whose wonder is it? Baba would never say that he has done it. It is the wonder of Karavan Har. That is inviting Gizi Ben to have spiritual conversation with Dadi sometime. There is Karavan Har, the one who does everything and inspires us to do everything. Um, Karavanhar, the one who inspires us to do everything. Some sisters write very good experiences, and one sister had written to Daddy about the feeling that she has of her realizations. And it is just with realization. How it's become easy to transform oneself. And before, there was not that um, hope that there could be uh, such a degree of transformation. But there she's saying how she is realizing and changing. Baba. Baba. 
first of all, gives us the intellect to be able to recognize him. And he says, child, make your mind quiet. Yesterday, suddenly, somebody asked the question, tell me your experience of Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar. Just as we were walking along, they asked this question, tell me your experience of Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar. And I remembered the story, Brahma Baba's story. It was evening time, Baba was sitting in yoga, we were all sitting with Baba in meditation, and Baba's drishti was so powerful in that yoga. And they were asking, do all three reside in the same place, Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar? Then in that yoga, Baba came down a little and out of us, someone asked Baba, Baba, what happened today? And someone said, Baba, I saw Brahma. Someone said, Baba, I saw Vishnu. And someone else said, Baba, I saw Shankar. In those days, we were not seeing Shiv Baba. We were experiencing everything through Brahma Baba. This is very old story, olden days, very olden days. And so yesterday I remembered this. And I said, this chariot, the chariot of Brahma Baba, that Shiv Baba is sitting in this chariot. And Brahma Baba made a lot of effort to become complete and perfect. And we know he is the resident of the subtle region. But before that, in the Sakar form, he made effort. But in his 84th birth, in his uh, last times of his 84th birth, that is, Baba was 60 years of age, the effort that Brahma Baba made from the time that Shiv Baba came into that chariot, Brahma Baba's effort was amazing. And sometimes you would see him sitting as Vishnu, sometimes he would be sitting, he would be sitting and he looks like Shankar. And he had that intoxication that he's going to become Narayan. It was firm in his intellect that I'm going to become Narayan. But before becoming Narayan, that aim to become perfect. So he would conduct such drill. And so it is um, my desire that all of us should have that experience of such powerful yoga. All three are subtle, Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar. And we have the experience of the three. Brahma Baba is my father. He becomes Vishnu and sustains us. And Shankar, if he were not to do tapasya, what would he be doing? So Shankar, the embodiment of tapasya, intense meditation, and the experience of all three, Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar, the subtle forms. In the morning, Brahma as Brahma, in the um, day as Vishnu, and in the evening as Shankar. So emerge Baba in this way. We were able to see Baba in these three forms. That is, his stage would be like that. In the morning, Brahma speaking, the Murli, Shiva Baba speaking through him. In the day, as Vishnu sustaining us, okay. In golden age, um, he will he'll be do he'll be doing that. But right now, who is sustaining us? It is that he has those sanskars of giving sustenance from now, from here. And Baba had said, what's the, what's the point of um, giving birth to children and then not being able to sustain them? Baba had said, yes, there will be such people, but first parents would create a home 
And though this is what Baba has done, he has created the yagya and then sustains the children. And the thing of most happiness is that our sustenance has been through this yagya and he has made us into Brahmins in order to do service. Warriors and merchants, they cannot do service. If someone who did good service suddenly beca becomes a warrior, then they will go away from here. They themselves will admit they are not able to do service. And so Baba, God himself, has created this yagya. Shiv Baba himself has created this yagya. One time, Baba said, and I'm remembering these old stories of Baba, what can I do? Baba said to me, come here. And, and Baba said, you know um, that the grain of um, such and such a soul, uh, this story, that they may be few in a pot and you shake the pot, you can hear the grain. There may be just few, but that grain will never run out. There will always be enough to eat, always. And practically, Baba has shown this. It doesn't matter. Baba's faith is there. And Baba knew the money will come from somewhere or other to feed everyone. So that is seeing the trustees sitting here and would like to meet them for a few minutes after class. It's funny. They're clustered sitting in the same corner. <laughs> and that Baba never had the thought, where will the money come from? How will Baba be able to feed the, the children? Baba never had the thought, just knowing that it is Shiv Baba's Yagya, if there were no sacrificial fire, how would we be able to um, make our lives, uh, surrender our lives, make our lives worthwhile, swaha, sacrifice swaha, ourselves? Swaha. It has been a matter of just sacrifice, swaha. sacrifice, swaha. sacrifice. And what is it that they actually Baba sacrifice ne, into a physical Baba fire? Ne, they put in sesame seeds, they put in barley, um, they put in other grain and ghee, that is purified butter. So then Baba would ask, what are these things? This is what they actually put into a sacrificial fire, a real fire, physical fire. So what happens when you put these dry things into the fire? Baba is really the almighty authority and he also um, has many many methods what stories can i share about him on the path of bhakti when we read the gita we would become tired because it's like we were not able to have recognition we were not able to have yoga uh, whilst reading the gita so we would keep reading but there was no experience of attainment of any kind and if someone were to leave the body the tradition is that for seven days they would read the bhagavat so that that soul would receive those um, good vibrations. And though we didn't understand knowledge at that time, you know, in the Lokik days, we would read about the wonderful activities of Krishna. And, you know, um, we would say that if you want to know about supersensuous joy, Ask the gopis and gopis. In the early days, we didn't have the name Brahma Kumaris and Kumaris. When Shiv Baba gave the title, the name to Brahma, and before that, it was that we were gopis and gopis who were in love with that flame, and we were the. Um, moths that used to go to the flame. We would run to Karachi from Hyderabad. We would go to Karachi to see and hear Baba speak the speak Yan. 
and Dadi Gulzar's mother, Dadi All-Rounder. Gizive, did you see her? Dadi All-Rounder. We used to call her Dadi All-Rounder. Dadi Gulzar's mother, Lokik mother. She was a wonderful soul. She used to live in Delhi, Pandav Bhavan Center. Her husband really used to prevent her, used to say to her to not go to Baba. And at night when he was asleep, from the balcony, she jumped into the next house balcony and from that next house she came downstairs. And that was 2 a.m. in the morning when he was asleep, she escaped. The police caught her on the road and she said, I didn't see my, clo uh, my watch, um, but I'm going to a satsang. And so she came to the satsang, she came to Baba and she never went back. She was so wonderful. You don't know. Dadi Gulzar has two other sisters, one in Hong Kong and the other in Singapore. And what are they? And look at Dadi Gulzar. What is she? <laughs> and so in Pandav Bhavan, Delhi, Dadi Gulzar used to live there and so did Dadi All Rounder. And all her life, Dadi All Rounder did the service of being on guard duty um, at night from 12 midnight to 5 a.m. And not that she did guard duty at night and then slept in the day. No, she didn't sleep in the day. And in those days, we didn't have brothers to buy vegetables, grain. It was Dadi All-Rounder who used to do all the purchasing. She would go to Abu Road downstairs in the bullock cart and bring all these vegetables and grain in the bullock cart back upstairs to Madhuban and... Um, Pandav Pavan, there is still her room. If you know Pandav Pavan, Delhi, you go up those two, three steps of the veranda, just the entrance, and on the left, that room is her room. So, and her husband afterwards really regretted, really, really regretted um, that he had been an obstacle. And Dadi Gulzar was the only one who was eight years of age. She went after her mother. The others stayed behind with the father. So the relationships of the body, each one has their own part to play. So Dadi Gulzar followed her mother. So each one has their own part. You do what is the right thing that you have to do. And it's uh, very, many very lovely stories. Mama didn't have any Lokik brothers, but she had two older sisters. Sorry, there was one who was older than Mama, the other younger than Mama. Oh, the younger one had such deep love and interest in Baba, so much love for Baba, very, very good child. Mama came forward afterwards. Um, she said she left the body quite quickly. I'm not sure which one she's talking about. Yeah, I think it was the younger sister. And Baba said that she was such a good soul, she will take birth somewhere and come back into the Yagya. And then there was another sister whose name was Sundri. So then we were thinking, which soul is it that um, she's going to come back as? And so quality. So you should, each one of you should ask yourself, what quality am I? You know, know yourself. What quality soul am I? We should be of such quality. 
and it is just one uh, phrase Baba says, am I a part of the quantity or am I quality? So a quality soul is one who is detached from the body and bodily relations in a second. You're not able to see that this one is the son or this one is the father. You're not able to see this relationship of father and son in Lokic uh, relations. Daddy was seeing <laughs> Suman in, of Manchester in Leicester or wherever Daddy said saw her in Manchester and seeing her parents Kamlesh Ben and Lakshman Bhai. Seeing Suman is Kamlesh Behen here? She's sitting towards the back. We should be able to give her a seat closer to the front. Wonderful parents. Um, but seeing Suman, Daddy doesn't even think that these are the parents. And Lakshman Bhai is so detached, you would not think that this is a couple. Hmm? Um, no. No, you would never think. And there are two sons also, and you would never think that they are all connected as a family. So I said to Suman that invite Lakshman Bhai. And yesterday also Suman had come to Leicester to do translation. It was a very big, very nice program. And each one is making their own effort to create their future reward. Loveful. To be loveful, loveful. and Law lawful, not to take law Law-ta into your hands. A uh, person who takes law Law-ta into their own Law-ta hands Law-ta will not be quality, but one who follows the law um, is loveful. That is, following the um, code of conduct, the Mariadas, is a quality soul. To let go of mine and yours. And Baba says, um, God, I am yours and you are mine. So, if I were not to say that I am yours, how would God be able to say that um, you are mine? So Daddy really likes these two words of quality and quantity. It really touches her. So before we used to say, before, it is we who have to say, Baba, I am yours. We have to be the first to say, Baba, I am yours. And then Baba says, child, you are mine. And so when Baba says that, oh, the heart likes it so much. It really pleases the soul. And today, Arthi Ben was sitting next to me to offer Bog. Would you be able to know that she is the daughter of Manju Ben of Ilford? Do you know that? Did you know that? No, no. Though she may be physically the daughter, but this morning, Daddy se- uh, Arthi Ben offered to Daddy, Daddy, shall I sit for Bog? And because of her health at the moment, she is staying in Diamond House. And she's so comfortable, she's thinking, I don't want to go to Baba Baba now. I'm happy here. Because she's happy here, and she's helping in service here in Global House, and very happily doing whatever she's doing. And so each one is making their own effort. But it is our, um, it is up to us to have good wishes and pure feelings for everyone. Lots of good wishes. And in effort not to have any attachment because in that there is my own detriment. And you ask me how much attachment I have to all of you. <laughs> that is attachment to all of us. How much, how much attachment? Because she knows that Baba wants each child to move forward. Baba doesn't want any child to be left behind, doesn't want to let go of any one of us. 
When Baba came to Bombay, first of all, Baba gave so much love to the gathering. It was the same face. But see yourself, if you are not able to tolerate that because of jealousy, then the soul will move backwards. So the quality of the soul. To change your own quality means that there is some reason. It's your own reason. So move forward carefully. Move along carefully, very carefully. Because the destination is very high and we want to go to the other side. The destination is very high. And it is that I want to go to that high destination. And Baba said in yesterday's Murli that have that thought that our part in this drama is coming to an end. Our part in this drama has come to an end. That's it. That's it. Just that thought. My part in this drama has come to an end. And that this old is about to be destroyed. And when will it happen? It's going to happen any minute. Any minute. And to have the thought, when will it happen? That's wrong. Married you. Just that I'm ready. That I have transferred my bags and baggage. Baba asks, what do first class passengers do? First class passengers, they don't carry their own luggage. They first um, check in their bags and baggage and then they go very comfortably with nothing, not carrying anything, and they go and sit very comfortably. And here, some have to go somewhere and they say, oh, I need time to do my packing. And <laughs> that uh, that you think so, you, you have all that to do. And they say, yes, it takes time to pack. So what quality is that? You know, if you're thinking of packing, you haven't done any packing. What can I say? My whole attention is that my packing is done. That is, on a spiritual level, the soul is ready. And um, we said to Baba, Baba, um, we want to have a booking office. Come and we will give you a first class ticket. And the soul became tired. And that, you know, they do the booking and then they cancel the booking. Oh, this is what souls do. First class passengers are royal. And their luggage. It's also with the royalty that they travel and they get the best fruits and food on the flight. First class and business class passengers. And the economy class passengers, uh, what is their um, food and cutlery and whatever like and they insist in first class they keep asking that they have this have this have that and first class passengers they don't want very much they don't ask for a lot and these days um, it's been some years actually some years that daddy um, we don't allow daddy to travel in economy class. Everybody has so much concern for daddy. They don't allow daddy to travel uh, economy class now. And what happens in first class? There will be one person on one side, one person to the rear, and daddy 
um, in her own space and is very spacious, not many people there. And Daddy doesn't say anything, but everybody has so much concern and take care of her so well. And the last time she traveled, her ticket was economy class, but that they immediately put Daddy in the first class when she got on the flight, immediately taken into the first class. So, imagine, think about it, what first class passengers are like. They go, they board the plane with such royalty, So cleanliness and honesty and the balance of religion and action. Those who are religious souls will say, this is not my work, this is their work. And the other people will say, it is not their work, it's somebody else's work. And our actions and our religion. Dharma, religion, karma, action, is one of honesty and cleanliness. So, in our religion, honesty. In our actions, cleanliness. Mm. Cleanliness means total transparency, no falsehood, totally clean. Sweet Baba has made us from what we are, uh, sorry, from what we were into what we are, from where to where he has taken us. And this is Daddy's last Sunday. Then she's going to go to Oxford, GRC, today. And then, so today Daddy feels that whatever comes into her heart, she just wants to tell us because who knows what tomorrow will bring. And we say, uh, Daddy, you know this, you know this. And Baba would say so many things. And then Baba would say to us, don't have the complaint that Baba didn't tell you this because Baba has told us everything. So today reading the Murli, um, I'm sure all of you would have been, would be thinking also, it is a wonderful Avyakta Murli. And to this day, Baba tells us, the wonderful thing is that we didn't know that Baba would become Avyakt and that Sakar Murlis would be revised. And now even the Avyakta Murlis are being revised. And we feel that today we need those Murlis from years ago that are being revised. And so Baba has so much concern for the children. Sunil Bhai, you had a good experience, didn't you? And the brother who sings the songs, you're here, aren't you? Are you sitting here? Come, come to the front. Come. And uh, Girish Bhai might say, Kali Jag Me Aya Bandhu this point of life came into this world that was empty and it will leave this empty world. It will also leave this empty world. Whatever kind of actions each one performs, that is the kind of fruit that they will receive. This point of light has come into this empty world and will leave this empty world. Shells, just shells. And we became trapped in these shells 
we became dirty using these shells. It is an illusion of Maya, false Maya, in the bondage of illusion and falsehood. His, his soul, you will fall in this. You fall in this. You came into this empty world as a point and you leave. The point leaves this empty world. Mother and father, son and daughter, all of this is all Maya. Increasing your praise, your respect, and these are just like shadows following you. You increase your wealth. And though there's time, and if one doesn't understand, then afterwards there will be repentance, much regret. So coming into this empty world, leaving the empty world, you remember God, but you are in this ocean of Maya. Do whatever you have to do today because you don't know if tomorrow is going to come for you. Uh, the words actually are that the point has come without anything into this world and will go from this world without anything. Not empty, but has come into this world without anything and will leave without anything. So this Bindu point has come without anything and will leave without anything. Very appropriate song. Thank you. And we have silence for three minutes. मैं मिलती हूँ, मैं मिलेंगे, बिठा दो यार बिठा दो। Today, Trinetri Bhai has come to class, wonderful brother, Trinetri Bhai, who doesn't have physical sight, and that he has given him this name, Trinetri, the one with the third eye. So, if sound room, play a song. song. So play such a song that one doesn't shed any tears but becomes lost in God's love. I'll see if I can translate it. So you would recognize that that's one of the Murli songs that Baba used to have played. <laughs> 